Hello everyone, you are watching the channel Incredible Facts. Anti-tank guided missiles or ATGMs are precision guided munitions designed to destroy armored vehicles, including tanks. These missiles are guided by wires, lasers, or infrared homing systems, allowing operators to direct them to their targets with accuracy. ATGMs are critical assets for infantry and vehicle-mounted platforms, providing the ability to engage and neutralize heavily armored threats on the battlefield. Today, we want to show you the best 10 anti-tank guided missiles in the world. MSS 1.2 the MSS-1.2 is a man-portable anti-tank guided missile manufactured in Brazil by Mectron. It is one of the most powerful missiles in its class and is intended to give infantry an equalizer against even the most advanced main battle tanks. Unlike most modern ATGMs in its class, the MSS-1.2 is not fired from a disposable launch tube, but rather a reloadable box launcher. The MSS-1.2 is guided by a semi-active laser system, by which the operator or another soldier paints the target with a laser spot and the missile homes in on its reflection. This guidance method gives the MSS-1.2 excellent accuracy even at very long range and allows the user to manually guide the missile to any target. The missile arms in flight at a distance of approximately 230 feet or 70 meters from the launcher and flies at 583 meters per second out to a distance of more than 13,123 feet or 4,000 meters before the self-destruct system activates. The warhead of the MSS-1.2 is a 7-pound or 3.2-kilogram shape charge munition with a 5.7-pound or 2.5-kilogram bursting charge consisting of an HMX-based explosive compound. HJ-12 the HJ-12 is a new Chinese anti-tank guided weapon. It is a fire and forget type of weapon, which is extremely similar to the baseline US FGM 148A Javelin that was adopted by the US Army and Marine Corps in 1996. The HJ-12 has the same range and penetration capabilities of the FGM 148A Javelin. The HJ-12 is one of the most advanced man-portable anti-tank guided missile systems in the world today. It can destroy any current main battle tank. It can also engage bunkers, small boats, and low-flying helicopters. The HJ-12 is a man-portable weapon. It is shoulder-fired, but can also be installed on the tripod or tracked and wheeled armor vehicles. The HJ-12 has a tandem high-explosive anti-tank warhead. A precursor charge is used to defeat the explosive reactive armor, while the primary warhead penetrates the base armor. The HJ-12 penetrates 800 millimeters of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor. After the launch, the missile climbs upward and then dives toward the target. This method is very suitable to destroy tanks because most of them have only a minimum level of armor protection in the upper part of the turret. Milan ER The Milan ER is an MBDA project. The MBDA is a European consortium which develops and manufactures missiles. The MBDA has facilities in France, Germany, Italy, and the United Kingdom, and other countries. The Milan ER is a new development of the combat-proven Milan anti-tank guided missile system that has been in service for nearly 50 years and was adopted by more than 40 countries. The Milan ER uses a new fully digital advanced technology firing post with integral thermal imager. It has a 7x or 21x magnification and acts as a day-night sight. It has far superior target identification and reconnaissance capabilities than older launchers. The missile has a tandem heat warhead. It penetrates 1,000 millimeters of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor. Such penetration is sufficient to destroy even the most heavily armored main battle tanks. This missile is capable of penetrating more than 6.5 feet or 2 meters of reinforced concrete. Hence, it can also be used against troops in buildings, bunkers, and field fortifications. MMP The missile Moyen Porti, or MMP by MBDA, is marketed as a fifth-generation anti-tank guided missile and the first in a planned family of missiles. Deliveries of the MMP anti-tank missiles commenced to the French Army in 2017. The MMP is unique for a man-in-the-loop feature that gives the operator manual guidance over the missile, allowing him or her to trace its course until it destroys the target. Another appealing feature of the MMP is its reduced backblast for launchers indoors, a critical ability since urban warfare is the new normal. 
MMP has a multi-purpose warhead with the selectable choice of anti-armor or anti-infrastructure modes. The missile's firing range is more than 13,123 feet or 4,000 meters. MMP will replace the Milan and Javelin anti-tank missiles in service with the French Army and Special Forces from 2017. The AT-1K Raybold The AT-1K Raybold is a South Korean, man-portable third-generation anti-tank guided missile built by LIG NEX-1. The Raybolt's most notable feature is an imaging infrared seeker providing fire and forget capability. It also has a tandem warhead and both direct attack and top attack modes. The Raybolt uses a smokeless propellant and can be fired from within a building. The Raybolt missile and observation and launch unit can either be vehicle mounted or carried as a man pack by two men. The Raybolt system weighs about 44 pounds or 20 kilograms, which its manufacturer describes as lighter than peers. The Raybolt's range is 9,840 feet, or 3,000 meters. The Raybolt's sophistication makes it attractive to end users who need new anti-armor weaponry, but as a top attack ATGM, it coexists with rivals from China, Japan, and even North Korea. The success of foreign sales are also dimmed by the US's own influence over its allies who acquire Javelin ATGMs as security guarantees and the competition from Israel's popular spike missiles. Spike LR2 The Spike LR2 is an advanced fifth-generation anti-tank guided missile with a number of advanced features. It is a new generation of the original Spike LR with longer range and increased armor penetration. It was developed in Israel and is produced by Raphael. Letters LR in the designation stand for Long Range. The missile is slightly lighter than the original Spike LR and weighs 28 pounds or 12.7 kilograms. The launcher is also lighter, however the LR2 has increased range and armor penetration. The range has increased to 18,000 feet or 5,500 meters. It has a tandem heat warhead which offers 30% increased armor penetration. So it is estimated that the Spike LR2 can penetrate more than 900 millimeters of steel armor behind explosive reactive armor. The missile is also available with a multi-purpose blast warhead which is effective against buildings, bunkers, and field fortifications. It can breach up to 200 millimeters of reinforced concrete and detonate within the structure. This multi-purpose warhead is also effective against lightly armored vehicles. The Spike LR2 uses infrared imaging guidance. It has a new infrared seeker with a smart target tracker and artificial intelligence features. Boombar the Boombar is a Serbian anti-tank guided missile. It was developed by Military Technical Institute. This anti-tank guided missile was adopted by the Serbian Army in 2012. The Boombar can be used as a man-portable weapon or mounted on various vehicles. It is a cost-effective anti-tank weapon that is intended to be used by forward infantry and special forces. The Boombar is a wire-guided missile. The missile can be fired from a shoulder launcher or launched from a tripod. The total weight of this anti-tank guided missile with tripod is 40 pounds or 18 kilograms. The missile itself weighs 22 pounds or 10 kilograms. And the launcher unit can be used multiple times. The boom bar has a relatively short range of up to 1,970 feet or 600 meters. Minimum range of fire is 60 meters. Some sources report that a new version of this missile with a 3,280 feet or 1,000 meter range is being developed. The Boombar has a tandem heat warhead. It is claimed that this missile can penetrate over 1,000 millimeters of rolled homogenous armor behind explosive reactive armor. This missile can also be used against bunkers, buildings, or field fortifications. N-Law The N-Law or Next Generation Light Anti-Tank Weapon is a short-range anti-tank missile whose characteristics make it a sort of hybrid. It is armed with a powerful 150mm high-explosive anti-tank warhead designed to knock out main battle tanks at short ranges. Even the NLAW's firing mechanism is a novelty. Instead of an embedded lever or trigger on its launch tube, it has an ergonomic grip on its right-hand side behind the bulbous muzzle brake. To aim the NLAW, a basic optical sight with 2.5 times magnification is installed on the launcher. For better accuracy, night vision and red dot sights are available upon request. Cognizant of threats posed by modern active protection systems and reactive armor, the NLAW operator can opt for an overfly top attack mode. This launches the missile toward the tank turret where it explodes. 
Its downward angled heat warhead perforates the thin upper armor, even if it's covered with explosive reactive armor. Designed as a single-use weapon system, the Enlaw can't be reloaded. Furthermore, its range is modest, with its farthest reach of stationary targets at 1,970 feet, or 600 meters. Effective range against moving targets is up to 1,310 feet, or 400 meters. All newer missiles have updated guidance software and can engage targets at a range of 2,625 feet, or 800 meters, and up. OMTAS the OMTAS, also known as the Mizrak O, manufactured by Roketsan, is the first man portable medium range anti armor missile developed in Turkey. Although its exact origins are unknown, on paper it qualifies as a fourth generation ATGM endowed with range, precision, and lethality. The missile weighs a cumbersome 53 pounds, or 24 kilograms, and requires a sealed plastic and fiberglass launch tube, a fire control system housed in a sighting unit with day and night visibility, and a collapsible tripod for proper use in a fixed position. Based on its warhead diameter, which is very large for an anti-tank missile, the Yomtas appears designed for knocking out main battle tanks with explosive reactive armor. It can travel a distance of 13,123 feet, or 4,000 meters, either as a fire and forget or as a flyover top attack round. Since the Omtaz hasn't been used in actual combat, its dimensions and performance characteristics suggest a missile with the same destructiveness of an FGM 148 Javelin, but with extra range. In terms of armor penetration, a specification that remains unspecified, the Omtas missile's warhead could punch through most vehicles, buildings, and fortifications. Javelin The FGM-148 Javelin is a US-made, man-portable, fire-and-forget anti-tank missile. It was fielded to replace the M47 Dragon. In 1995, mass production of the FGM-148 Javelin began, and in 1996, it was delivered to the US Army and US Marine Corps. Currently, the FGM-148 Javelin is one of the most advanced man-portable anti-tank guided missile systems in the world. It can destroy any current main battle tank. It can also target low-flying helicopters. Only some existing anti-tank missiles, such as an Israeli Spike, can compare with the Javelin. A close copy of the Javelin, called the HJ-12, recently emerged in China. This Chinese missile has similar specifications and capabilities as the Javelin. The Javelin is a man-portable fire-and-forget type of weapon. It is shoulder-fired but can also be installed on the tripod of tracked and wheeled armored vehicles. There are two modes of attack, top attack and direct attack. The top attack flight mode is used to engage tanks and other armored vehicles. In direct attack mode, the missile flies directly to the target. This mode is used to engage buildings, bunkers, weapon crews, and concentrations of enemy troops. The missile is equipped with an imaging infrared seeker. The missile has an 18.5 pound or 8.4 kilogram tandem shaped charge warhead. A precursor warhead detonates any explosive reactive armor, and the primary warhead penetrates the base armor. The maximum firing range of the Javelin is 8,200 feet or 2,500 meters. Recently, the manufacturer developed a version of the Javelin with a range of 15,580 feet or 4,750 meters. Well, that's all, friends. Thanks for watching. Write in the comments which of the missiles you like the most. Also, click the like button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new interesting videos.